Hey, I don't think this is the correct alternator for the customer's vehicle. I don't see the difference. Well, this is the one I removed. This is the one that came in the box. I see the pulleys are different, but do you think that's gonna cause any problems for the customer? It'll fit, but it's not an OAD pulley. Has that ever happened to you? For some parts, the replacement might not look like the original, like filters, brake pads. But when it comes to the alternator pulley, don't take any chances. The original alternator removed by the technician was equipped with an overrunning alternator to coupler pulley, or OAD, made by Lightens. An OAD pulley is designed to decouple the alternator from the accessory drive belt system and absorb vibrations from the engine and other components on the belt drive system. While a solid pulley can transfer the movement from the belt to the alternator's rotor, the absence of the OAD will impact the efficiency and longevity of the entire belt drive system. Let's look inside an OAD. There are three technologies inside that help to decouple the alternator and dampen vibration. The first component is a one-way clutch. The clutch disengages the rotating mass of the alternator when the engine is decelerating to improve the engine's efficiency. Next is the isolation spring that absorbs power pulses from the crankshaft and sudden loads caused by events like an AC clutch engagement or sudden loads on the alternator. Next, these thrush washers and plastic inserts act like a shock absorber for the spring to dampen pulses from the engine and vibrations from the dry belt system. All three work together with the belt drive system and are tuned for the specific application ranging from a large diesel engine to a small gasoline four-cylinder engine. There are other styles of decoupler pulleys. This is an OAP or overrunning alternator pulley. It also has a one-way clutch, but it lacks the spring and thrush washers to dampen the vibration. While they look the same on the outside, the two technologies are incompatible. How do you tell the difference? Well, the first tip-off is the dust cap. An OAD will have a cap that resides in the lip and the bore like this. An OAP might not have a cap or it's held onto the outside of the pulley with tabs or fingers like this. With the cap off, you can test the pulley. An OAD will spring back in one direction when force is applied to the alternator shaft and freewheel in the other direction. An OAP will lock in one direction and spin in the other just like a socket wrench. So what would happen if our shop owner and technician decided to go with a solid alternator pulley or an OAP instead of the OAD? Since the solid pulley or OAP lacks the components to dampen the vibrations, this will impact the life of the belt and the other components on the accessory belt drive system. The driver may experience vibration that could be translated into noise. The customer may say the noise is a vibration and is intermittent and only occurs during certain events. While an OAP or solid pulley will not leave the customer by the side of the road in the coming months, it could cause extra stress on the accessory dry belt system and even the engine. The result might be a premature failure of the alternator and decreased belt stability that could result in premature wear and the failure of the belt and even tensioner. I know what you're thinking, could the technician just transfer the OAD from the old alternator onto the new alternator. This is a bad practice because an OAD is a wear component. During the part's life, the springs will fatigue and the thrust washers will lose their ability to dampen the motion of the pulley. This is why many OEMs recommend replacing the OAD and tensioner with the belt as part of the mileage-based service and maintenance schedule. Even if the replacement of the OAD is not listed in the maintenance schedule, it is recommended that you treat the accessory belt drive system components as a system. When one component needs to be replaced, think of it as a reset for the accessory belt drive system where the components are returned to their original condition from the factory. By taking this approach, you can ensure the belt and connected components will work as a system and meet the next mileage replacement interval. I guess you're right, let me order another alternator with the correct OAD pulley. You know, while you're at it, you should get a new belt, idler pulley, and tensioner too. Good call. Looking at the repair order and the mileage here, and also the service interval, it's due. Yeah, definitely. You know, customers forget that when one component fails, 
there's likely gonna need to be service on other parts of the vehicle. So you might as well come in and get that service so you don't have to come back. This is gonna be an easy sell to the customer as they don't wanna pay for additional labor when they have to have another part put on like a belt or a tensioner. Yeah, exactly.